In my last video, I showed you how to set up a fresh Helium miner. In particular, how to register the hotspot to the Helium blockchain. However, I didn't assign its location. In today's video, I am going to show you how I figured out the best location for my Helium miner and then perform the location assertion. Hey folks, this is Roy and welcome back to my channel Eigentech. Let me first show you the current status of my Helium miner. So the name of my miner is Overt Parchment here and you can see that location is not set and if I go to the activity you will see that there is no activity if I go to all activity you will see that it has been added to the blockchain on 13th of October. So I connected it to the internet using Wi-Fi 2.4 GHz band. I didn't use the Ethernet cable. Also, I didn't fix the relay because I have another hotspot under the same network. I kept the hotspot close to the Wi-Fi router and it took about three days to completely sync. I would like to point out a few things here. First, you can see that there is no other activity because the location was not asserted. So I didn't earn anything. And if you go back to the statistics page, you can see that the transmit scale is not applicable. So I didn't get any transmit scale because my miner didn't send any beacon. Once it sends its first beacon and that is received by other hotspots nearby, I will get the transmit scale. And uh, you can see the sync status is syncing even though it's completely synced as I have checked by running the diagnostics. The Helium app and the Explorer page is uh, always slow so it doesn't update the current status. To get the current status it is best to run the diagnostics. Let me now show you where I am going to place the Helium miner. So I live in the Chicago area, so I'll, I'll zoom into that area. It's a bit slow, takes some time to load. So at this stage, I will actually turn on the reward scale so that you can see. It's also known as the transmit scale. So we can see there are some hotspots in this area and the reddish uh, hexagons means that the transmit scale is lower. So actually I am going to place my hotspot uh, here. So you can probably see there are two buildings here. So I am going to place it uh, in this building here. Now you can see that there is a problem here. So the trans there are already eight hotspots in this hex and the transmit scale is going to be poor. So if I click here, you can see that the transmit scale is like 0.67 in this hex. So if I put one more, the transmit scale is going to go down further. Even though my transmit scale doesn't affect me directly, but it will affect my earnings because I will witness other hotspots in this hex whose transmit scale will further get lowered because if I insert my hotspot in this hex. So the idea here is that because I'm lucky here, I'm very close to the boundary so and I measure I can measure the distance here so let's say place my first point somewhere here and let's say somewhere if I assert actually assert my location somewhere here you can see that distance is less than 100 meters so as I mentioned in my previous many of my previous videos that it's fine to assert the location within 50 to 100 meters so in this case since it's less than 100 meter uh, I can safely assert the location somewhere here so that it falls in the this other hex even though my hotspot will be placed inside this building. Uh, one point is that the Helium Explorer doesn't show the boundary of the hex very accurately so it's best to go to the Hotspotty app. So the name of the site is app.hotspotty.net slash hexes and I have zoomed in to the area where I'm going to uh, place my hotspot which is uh, here in this building. So you can already see that there's some problem in this hex as indicated by these colored hotspots. The gray ones are non-interactive hotspot and the orange and other colors are interactive hotspots. So let's click on any one of them to check the problem. So I clicked on this one and let's click on the reward scale. And it will show me the problems. So you can see that in the resolution 8 there are one too many. And in this, that's why the reward scale is 4 by 5 which is 0.8. And on resolution 4, they are 149 to many. So if you click on this resolution, it will tell you the problem. So you can see I am basically very close to the Chicago area and there are a lot of hotspots. And there is um, 149 too many hotspots. They are supposed to be 750, but there are 750 plus 149, which is 8 
99 hotspots and that is why if you look at the ratio it's it is 750 divided by 899 and you can see the reverse scaling is 0.834 so i cannot fix this because this involves a very large area however uh, i can definitely choose my resolution 8 correctly so that my reverse scale is not affected at resolution 8 so let's go back here and check the resolution 8 here in this hex so you can see there are there are supposed to be a maximum of four hotspots there are actually five that's why it's pointed so if i put mine it will be now six so the transmit scale will become four divided by six which is 0.66 so the total transmit scale in that case will become the will become the product of 0.66 multiplied by 0.834 which is around 0.55 which would be bad so now you can see i have simply a solution in this case because in this case i'm a bit lucky uh, you can see how the hexagon boundary works here so i am putting my hotspot here but i can definitely assert my location uh, maybe beyond this road somewhere here so that it goes to it goes inside this hex and because this one is non-interacting it will not play any role and i will get uh, the full capacity of this hex at resolution 8 and you can see that um, if I go back to the reverse scaling here you can see that at resolution 8 there are two available so uh, even if this one becomes interactive and along with mine it should be fine but I cannot fix the resolution for transmit scale all right so this is how I figured out what would be the best location for my case in your case you might not be lucky and you might not be close to the edge you might be close to the center but in that case you should make sure that uh, there are no other hotspots inside uh, close to yours within resolution 9 or 10 so you should avoid those cases that you can easily do by slightly changing the location assertion in the helium app all right let us now actually perform the location assertion so for this you need to fire up the helium app you don't need to be close to your hotspot because it doesn't use the bluetooth connection all you need is the internet connection so i'll authenticate and it will access the location so i'll say okay now you can see that uh, my hotspot has shown up here uh, so and it says that no asserted location so i'll click on this gear icon and it can you can see there are a few options transfer hotspot discovery mode update hotspot and hide hotspot so so i'll click on this update hotspot option and the first option is to update antenna i'll first update the location and then come back to the antenna so let's see uh, you can see that it says you have one free remaining hotspot location assert update so uh, because i didn't assert it for the first time this is my first time so this is free for the next time onwards you have to pay a 10 dollar fee so i'll click on change location and uh, i don't know how it has zoomed in i'll just zoom out and zoom into the location where i need to actually place it so it's difficult to see here so you zoom in okay so if you remember the the hotspot is going to be somewhere here and uh, i need to cross this road somewhere here it should be in the next hex so i'll and that should be within 100 meter of my actual location so i will change the location click here so i don't know why it shifted its position i will just cancel it again and try retry because it's showing me back to the so i'll try to put it slightly further away let's see if it works now okay so now you can see it's uh, it has it is showing me inside this other hex so i'll confirm in this case and i have to submit so you can see that update hotspot uh, information have been submitted and it's currently pending so i think it will take a few minutes to update once it updates i will show you the result as well
all right it has been about 10 minutes i think the location assertion should have been completed by now so let's check it so i'll go to my helium app authenticate okay uh, so you can see the address has come here if i go to this tab you will see well it doesn't show me that that activity is pending but i can go here and yes so this is what i wanted so i wanted to have my hotspot to be uh, set inside the other hex so it has worked nicely so i'm happy about it as you saw that the location i asserted is about 100 meter away from my actual location and it should be fine so i wanted to check actually one more thing um, let me stop here uh, i don't know how fast is hotspotty so let's go back to hotspotty and check quickly uh, if it has updated this information so the location assertion must be uh, must have been maybe one or two minutes old so let's see so i'm going back to this page and let's uh, this was the page with the other hotspot here so let's just refresh this page and see if i can uh, now my hotspot has appeared here or not it's taking some time to load okay um, no so i can't see my hotspot here as you saw uh, it was already as you saw in my app it was already asserted so let's go back to the helium explorer i'll just refresh this page once and type my name of my hotspot yes so it shows me in the correct hex as we saw in the app so the explorer is fine the app is fine but i think hotspot is still take still takes some time to update this information so Anyway, uh, you saw how Hotspotty was useful in this case to determine the best location for my uh, Helium Hotspot. So they are going to actually have even a lot of more features. If you like to create an account, you can use the link that you will find in the description. There is one more thing that is left, which is updating the antenna information. So I'll go back to my app, click on the gear icon and then click on update hotspot as the last time but last time i used the update location but now i'm going to update the antenna so i'll select antenna and mine is rack version 2 so uh, here so it's rack hotspot minor us version and select that so the default gain is 2.3 db at uh, 3 dbi i'm not going to change it because in my case the antenna is directly connected to the hotspot so i'm not going to change it if you are using any outdoor antenna and cable you can appropriately add just the value as i have described in my earlier video so it is important to use the correct gain antenna parameter for poc v11 as i mentioned earlier and for height uh, it doesn't matter because poc v11 is not going to use the height i will just put a num num number which is like 10 meters uh, so then i'll update the antenna information and it is saying that it's just it's a confirmation page that the fee is 55,000 DC, which is actually a very small amount, probably 55 cents. So I'll just click on submit, and let's see. So so it's another transaction which is saying uh, saying update hotspot, and that transaction is still pending. So again, it will take probably a few minutes, up to 10 minutes, and this antenna information will be updated in the system. Uh, so it's very important that you update your antenna information correctly. Uh, in order to avoid any invalid witnesses after proof of coverage version 11 is activated which i think is now postponed until november 1st 2021 i hope this video will help you in understanding how to figure out the best location for your helium miner so that you can optimize the transmit scale and then how to actually perform the location assertion and update antenna information if you have any more question let me know in the comment section that's all for today. Thanks for watching guys and get cryptonized.